Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. It's time for more Punic Power. I'm your host, Kelvin. So, I've been plotting for the last little while. And that revolt popped up. No surprise. Every time I think about declaring war on things, revolts start popping up. And I've come to a conclusion. We must act. There is no more time for inaction. Every second we wait, the Caliphate gets stronger. And it must be stopped. This cannot be allowed to continue. Captain of the Great Seas Merchant Company? Oh dear. His invasions continue to get worse, it seems. He gains ground everywhere. Alright, well, we have a decent set of soldiers here. And now we have extra archers. Good. So, first things first, we're going to take these guys out, but the unfortunate plan that I've come up with is the declaration of war across all who dare oppose me in Egypt and the Levant. As far as I'm concerned, this is our only option. Really? You know, hang on. Why is this... Freaking Christ, okay, apparently. Didn't really think about it too much, but apparently... Well, I haven't been looking. Um, uh, All the kingdoms in the Byzantine Empire have fallen apart. So originally the Byzantine Empire fell apart into a bunch of kingdoms. Seen here. And then they further proceeded to manage to fall apart. Like Hellas is independent. Is there even a kingdom in Macedonia anymore? No. The kingdom of Pontus is in chaos. Asia is dying. Don't even know anymore. The Byzantine Empire has now not just failed on its own, but its vassals have failed. We have a double level of failure here. Man, I have a lot of wars. <sighs> Everyone's converting to Islamic, unsurprising. But, yeah. So, Byzantine Empire is one of the most best chances that, you know, you'd have to defeat uh, this caliphate. Unfortunately, I guess we're relying on uh, the stability of Persia, which Persia has been rather unstable lately. And they aren't doing so well on the levy side. Of course. We should do it again sometime. The Miasma Hindu faith have steadily dwindled down to the point where Miasma believes is the majority. This is a new state of affairs. Hindu faith to a de facto heresy. Huh. More accepting his peace offers. It's not good. He only continues to gain power. Keep this information myself. All right. Should be enough uh, to get white piece. Nope. All right. We'll give him another round then. We have cash. Yeah. We've got prestige. Yep. Yeah. All right. Keep it up. I'm going to want some more claims. Dissetic heresy. Lovely. All right. Take the white piece. Get out of here. Okay, we keep pressing. Good. But I need to work quickly and try and gain as much of a power base here as I can. Following these wars, I will likely go back to trying to eat up the rest of Africa. I likely don't have long.
Dear Lord. He is gobbling Arabia without uh, any checks, it looks like. And unfortunately, I don't have the ability to be a check on his power right now. I don't have enough power to do that. I mean, holy warring him. Maybe, yeah, I could, but uh, I like my army. Thank you. All right. Gonna push here, gonna push here, and push here. Push here, push here, push here. Yep. All the way up north. I probably shouldn't have declared all the wars at once. I mean, I probably could have gotten away with a fewer number of them, but oh well. I also want every Baronese soldier. Every last one of you. Alright, 8,000 reinforcements. I like it. That'll give us an edge. We need to conquer quick and swiftly. And I think at this rate, it won't be long before we've conquered Egypt. Wootsa. Yeah, he just, uh, he continues to conquer unchecked. How's the war going, huh? You're fighting the Muhammad, right? Yeah, 70%. So, I don't think, uh, I don't think the Persians are gonna hang... They're not gonna hang on against him. Luckily, they'll have to beat him once... M the Muhammad will have to beat, uh, the Persians once more to claim the Persian Empire, but, uh... We'll take what we can get here, eh? Whatever victory I can pull out at this point is a victory. But hey, you know what? We're looking at 4,500 retinue soldiers, 6,000 of my own. Hmm. That is good. That is, you know, 9,000 of my own soldiers. That's enough to keep uh, things under wraps and slowly approach us towards being able to fight Muhammad. It'll likely be a while, though. Especially with all his, uh, gaining newfound territory. Yes, I get it. The war is ticking against me. Oh, wow. You're not even... I'm not even attacking you. It's, you're just an ally to somebody. Wow, I wasted a ton of time. That I actually kind of needed. Alright. I think I may have to organize a full-scale assault. I also apparently have that new... Oh, have I inherited that? I guess I have. Alright. Let's get my shit together here. This guy needs to die. So bad. So bad does he need to die. Um, 601. Honestly, banishment looks good. Looks real good on paper. But I don't know if I can hold the realm together. I mean, there are some who will be loyal to me no matter what. But there will be others who will not be. On the other hand, I can bury them. I think I have to. So it requires some immediate and heavy realm reorganization to keep things under control, but I think I can do this. Okay, we don't need to deal with them anymore. Out of curiosity, if he's in my dungeons... He still said he was behind bars, I don't know. Whatever. First things first. Wound my family... Hey. Okay, so nobody I currently can give it to likes me. Oops. I didn't actually want to raise my banner here. I actually wanted to instead click distribute all holdings. Alright. These people are completely unaware of my tyranny. Okay. Whatever. Are there any family members here? Hidden amongst the ruins? Does not look like it. 
Well, in that case, I grant unto you the Kingdom of Cartoon and Genesis. You're still independent, unsurprising, and I need to try and transfer vassalage to you. No, you, you would never accept that. So unfortunately, that get, makes me lose support with a decent chunk of the realm, but... Right, I'll have to do something about that. I think the realm will linder. For now, at least. There will be those detractors who uh, now hate me for my tyranny, but that's okay. Because for every detractor, I have a lover now. I can still hold a decent number of soldiers. I expect the factions to get fairly sizable, but I don't expect them to get out of control. Well, this isn't taking long at all to claim Egypt. Uh, Alright. I need every soldier I can muster. Let's get them all. Alright, we attack from this direction then. Since that was their escape route, now they have no escape route. Really? Eh, well, at least we gotta get the Gastonian Revolt. Which is good enough. But yeah, I'm gonna need to get more troops in here quick. Which is why I'm working on gathering as many men as possible. I have a feeling that putting the realm through this kind of stress right now, of my title revocation, is a poor idea. But unfortunately, what's done is done. I must live with the fallout and the consequences. Luckily the factions aren't getting too out of hand. They're within acceptable limits. Alright. This is for the Kingdom of the Carthago Islands. Not sure what I'll do about that. I'll probably just organize it. Or reorganize it, rather. Shouldn't be too hard to do. Alright. Let's just get everyone sorted together here. I want to try and pick up everyone we can. And boat travels much quicker than men. Zoroastrian uprising. So, and I just got a revolt in Acre. No surprises. I mean, come on, knowing my luck and the number of offensive wars I'm currently waging, there's no way I wasn't going to get a bajillion one revolts. <laughs> Apparently the Gassinids are actually successfully striking back. Anyway, we're currently only at 18%, so that's acceptable. Get a fortune builder. And once the remaining troops all get together here and we actually start assaulting some fortresses, we might actually get somewhere. I don't think I'm going to go for the win, I think I'm just going to go for the pressure. <laughs> Monarchian? What the hell? Indivisibility of God, expensive other persons, huh. Okay. Looks like there is some, uh, problems. Hmm. The Islamic religion slowly begins to spread. You're still holding on, good. 91%, so you'll soon fall, but thank you for holding on as long as you did. Every soldier you slay makes my job easier. Muhammad right now is powered by event troops, not by conventional power. So, we'll have to be careful, but I think we can win. Alright. Yo. I'm debating. Do I go f full nine yards? I think I do. At least for this one. No more after this, though. Holy shit. 
Really, just 95%. Will you just accept? Yes, you will. Thank you. Thank you for being reasonable. Yeah. There we are. So far, we're uh, pressing these four provinces in Egypt. It's, it looks like the rest will lo be lost to revolts as Egypt falls apart. What a shame. And thankfully, the Persians continue to hold on. Why am I at war with people out here? I think it's just a visual bug. I have no idea what the hell's going on. There's some weird visual bugs, apparently. Anyway, where were we? Right. It's time to end this episode. We've completed the first of many conquests. And we have many more to go. Thank you everybody for watching. As always, this has been your lovely host, Gildan, signing off.